Hello, I'm Jashikins, and welcome to another vlog review, this time of the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode, Frenemy of My Enemy. Now, one of the sort of cute moments of the show were the Sky and Cal little moments this episode. I mean, you get to see that Cal, he, he used to be, you know, a really good guy. He used to be a loving father, and you can still see that. And, you know, seeing that fatherly side, you can also see how it's been twisted and turned into obsession. And that, for me personally, that makes me pity him even more, because I'm like, I can see who, who you could have been if you had you know, not had all this shit brought on you, you would have been a loving and caring father for Sky, And things would have been great. And it, it's just cute to see them together, and it's really saddening because you keep getting flashes of what could have been. <laughs> you know, I first saw Cal in the show, and I was like, I'm going to be sort of spooked by him, sort of creeped out. And now I'm sort of seeing those this father-daughter moments this episode. Like, I, I really care for him. I'm really pity him, really sad. And I don't really know what happens in the comics. I'm not a comic book reader. I've been meaning to change that for forever. I'm slowly getting through uh, the Parasite manga. Like, that's, <laughs> that's what's... I've been working on for like past like few months, I think. And so I don't really know what happens to Cal in the comics. But, you know, knowing Whedon is, you know, in sort of in charge of the show, he what Whedon likes to do is say, Here's your heart, now it's selling on the outside of your chest. So yeah. It's, I, Cal is probably not going to have a happy ending at all. He so deserves one. Uh, a question at, by the end of the episode for me and for a bunch of people was, is Boschke really under mind control or is he, you know, faking people on IMDb? We're like, well, he could have known some ways to resist. So... Maybe he's just faking, maybe he's playing and saying, okay, I'll, I'll play along with Ward and his little psycho girlfriend, but, you know, I'm going to get out when I can. I just have to wait. So that, that might totally be what's happening. It might not. It'd be sort of cool, you know, if that's what happened. I was really worried that he wasn't under mind control, so him, you know, being able to resist it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> and finally, okay, I might be pronouncing the name wrong, and if I do, I am sorry, and just, you know, comment below with the correct pronunciation if I totally skewer it. Jia Ying, a Sky's mother, you know, a bunch of people were sort of like, oh, she's cool for leaving Cal because blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I think in a previous episode, it might have been last episode, she was like, I just, one day I realized Cal was not the man I married. He has changed completely. Yeah. She is, she was getting out of a bad situation because you can still care and love people, but sometimes there are instances where you're like, I can't, you know, do this anymore. And she's wise and strong enough to break things off. Another thing that might be influencing this, of course, is the fact that she's a leader. She has to put her people's best interest or what she perceives as their best interest 
before her. So maybe she does want to keep, you know, Cal with her even though he's demented and she can't really recognize him. But at the same time, you know, what if Cal goes psycho and gets loose? You know, she has to look at a bunch of aspects and so she might be seem cold and calculating but you know she's a leader so if she does turn out to be evil okay but I think things might be a little complicated on her and then she's evil because she doesn't like Cal or is feeling as maternal about Sky as Cal is yeah and my final thoughts on the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. episode, Frenemy of My Enemy, which is a cute title, <laughs> is it was a very well put together episode. My favorite little exchange of the episode had to be when Ward picks up his cell phone and is like, hey, sweetie. You know, expect an agent thirty three and Colson just like, Hey babe, wanna drop by and catch up? <laughs> like totally straight face. That, that was just just an adorable moment if I I could probably keep on rewinding that part again and again. Like I'm just insane. <laughs> and if you have any comments or questions about whatever I said in this video now please comment below and we'll work things out and since you know this is a short little vlog and I can't always talk about everything or a few things I want in depth you know you can question me about anything I didn't mention in this vlog because <laughs> there's definitely a bunch of point parts I would totally fangirl on just go off route like pew hoo. <laughs> Anyways, I have been Jashikins, owner at jashikins.vlogspot.com. And if you go to my blog, you can see vlog reviews like these. I've started a little read through series. Um, I'm currently going through Animorphs number one, The Invasion by Kay Applegate. And for those of you who are like, I don't really want to do blog stuff. Now go to my blog for eh, whatever reason. I have it on a YouTube channel, Jash Read, so if you want to go over there and subscribe to it, you know, that'd be awesome. <laughs> and if you go to my blog on the sidebar thingy, our links to where else I'm on the web, and if you want to go over there and like say hi, please do. And I have a Ryan shop open. You can also name the dragon on the sidebar. You know, suggest a name. It's, you know, fun. <laughs> and if you want to draw for an upcoming giveaway, you know, the links are on the side to say how that works. The recent giveaway has, you know, ended recently. <laughs> so, hey. And if you're watching this on the YouTubes, there's a link in the description to donate your account, and if you donate your Twitter and or Facebook accounts to my campaign, thank you very much. You are awesome. And until next video, goodbye.